Ellen Lee DeGeneres is an American comedian and TV host known for her observational humor and wit. After attending college at the University of New Orleans briefly, DeGeneres began performing stand-up comedy in local venues in the late 1970s. Her quirky, self-deprecating style quickly earned her recognition, leading to national tours and a Showtime designation as Funniest Person of the Year in 1982. BO's Young Comedian Special, Dallas Improv, December the 9th through the 6th to 14th. Would you welcome Ellen DeGeneres. Ellen, Ellen. Her big break came in 1986 when she became the first female comedian to be invited to sit and chat with Johnny Carson after a performance on The Tonight Show. In addition to stand-up, DeGeneres appeared on TV shows like One Night Stand and Open House in the late 80s and early 90s. She starred in her sitcom Ellen from 1994 to 1998 after publicly coming out as gay in 1997. Her character also came out, making Ellen the first primetime show to feature an openly gay lead. Though the sitcom ended shortly after, DeGeneres launched her own daytime talk show, The Ellen DeGeneres Show, in 2003. It quickly became a hit, earning over 20 daytime Emmy Awards in the first five seasons. Known for her humor and warmth, Ellen had an influential career, breaking barriers and entertaining audiences on stage and screen. Ellen entered the world of luxury real estate unexpectedly. When her career first took off, she set a simple goal, to be able to afford her own home. As her means grew, so did her appetite for designing and renovating amazing properties. And then another one, and another one, and another one, her wife Portia DeRossi added lightheartedly. With a dozen luxury homes in her portfolio over the years, DeGeneres has established herself as something of an accidental real estate mogul. Her restorations range from mid-century modern gems to grand European-style villas. She often invests years transforming each property into her dream home before moving on to the next. While initially she just wanted the stability of her own place, DeGeneres ended up discovering a talent for design and a love of creating beautiful, comfortable spaces. Real estate, it turns out, is where her passions for creativity and home come together. The famous talk show host and her wife Portia recently paid her record-breaking $70 million for an oceanfront estate in the idyllic town of Carpentria, located in Santa Barbara County, California. The couple bought two adjoining properties in the exclusive seaside community for First, they purchased a 3.4 acre parcel featuring a Grand Tuscan farmhouse style mansion for $41.7 million. Next, they acquired the next door 6.6 .6 acre vacant lot with sprawling lawns and a lake for $28.2 million. With this $70 million deal, Ellen and Porsche have now set the record for the priciest residential transaction ever closed in Santa Barbara County. The pair are making themselves right at home in the upscale enclave of Carpentria. Nestled on 10 acres of oceanfront land, originally part of Bruce Kovner's sanctuary at Loon Point, Ellen and Porsche's sprawling Tuscan-style farmhouse boasts gorgeous exposed wood beams, hardwood floors, archways of stone pulled from the property, and more. Throughout its 9,000 square feet of living space. Sitting on top of a bluff overlooking the ocean, Ellen and Borsha's new Carpentria estate is full of lavish California living. The property spans 10 acres of lush grounds and it was developed by billionaire Bruce Kovner. Inside, exposed wood beams harvested from the property create a rustic yet elegant ambiance complemented by archways crafted from local stone and Italian marble accents. With five bedrooms, eight bathrooms, and even a separate one bedroom guest house, there's ample room for guests, staff, or just lounging in privacy. The gourmet kitchen and adjoining wine cellar provides space for culinary delights, while the home theater offers entertainment on cozy leather recliners. Outside, features include a marble mosaic swimming pool and spa, multiple fire pits surrounded by alfresco dining nooks, 150-year-old olive trees, and meticulously tended gardens. Cobblestone pathways lined with 100-year-old imported granite lead down to the property's private beach area. Truly an entertainer's paradise and a one-of-a-kind sanctuary along California's coveted coastline. The couple, who have become known for their multi-million dollar real estate portfolio and their home-turning prowess, have settled into their new acquired 
Carpentria Estate. DeGeneres stands by her intention to make each property a lifelong home. Her passion for reimagining houses simply seems to regularly outpace her plans to settle down. After living in two dozen homes over the years, calling it their forever home. This is a new chapter, Portia told her wife. After 24 houses in 18 years, this is our first house. Ellen DeGeneres' real estate ventures showcase her keen eye for design and her knack for buying exceptional properties. Just looking at the cozy elegance of her Santa Barbara home and its Tuscan farmhouse style mansion, each of her homes is a reflection of her taste and her commitment to creating spaces that inspire and uplift. After getting a taste of Ellen DeGeneres' many properties, that'll wrap up today's house tour. Before we go, answer this question for me. How many homes do you think you could take on to buy and flip if money wasn't an issue? Let me know down in the comments how much you could handle and don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram to chat. I'm Kara the Vampire Slayer and if you'd like to check out another tour before you go, stay tuned for this look into the homes of the late Anne Heche. Bye. Actress Anne Heche has passed away a week after she was critically injured in a devastating car crash. While many hoped the 53-year-old mother of two would recover, she had a severe brain injury that put her in a coma and on life support. Born in Ohio to a struggling family, Anne had made a name for herself in Hollywood and her success allowed her to own some stunning homes over the years. In 2021, she sold a stylish home in Silver Lake, Los Angeles, and prior to that, she offloaded two more of her homes, a $3.1 million villa-style property between Hollywood and Hancock Park, as well as a waterside cottage in the woods of Lake Arrow Arrowhead, California. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Many were hopeful that actress Anne Heche would make a recovery when she was reported in stable condition after a tragic car crash last week, in which she drove her car into a Los Angeles home and the vehicle was engulfed in flames. In the process, the home also caught fire, but the homeowner was able to escape with her two dogs and her pet turtle safely. While Anne was cut free of the wreckage by firefighters and was speaking with them before being taken to the hospital, she suffered a severe brain injury that was ultimately deadly. A week after the accident, it was reported that her family had pulled her off of life support. Anne always wanted to donate her organs, so being kept on life support helped the doctors make that happen. Anne Heche was born in Ohio to a struggling family with five children that moved often, even once living in an Amish community. She started to act right after high school with a gig portraying twins. Vicky and Marley on the soap opera Another World from 1987 to 1991. Later on, Anne came to prominence with roles in films like Donnie Brasco, I Know What You Did Last Summer, and more. Not to mention, she later starred on more TV shows, including the comedy drama Men in Trees. Anne is survived by her two sons, Homer and Atlas, who she shares with her exes, Coley LaFoon and James Tupper. Over the years, Anne has remained living in the Los Angeles area, and some of her former homes were located in areas such as Hollywood and Silver Lake. Hey guys, it's Kara back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment in this one, checking out where Anne Heche formerly called home. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram if you want to chat. And now let's get into this video. In 2019, one of Anne's former homes was put on the market for $3.95 million, which was her one-time marital home she shared with her ex, James Tupper. The couple announced the end of their 10-year marriage over a year before selling the property, and it was said that they were renting the home out for a couple of years before selling it as a high-end rental with prices ranging from $14,500 to $18,000 per month. Located on a tree-lined street in a neighborhood beside the desirable Hancock Park in Hollywood, Los Angeles. This two-floor Tuscan-inspired villa was built in 2009 and offered about 4,700 square feet of space inside. The property had secure gates out front along with a high hedge for privacy, and Anne and her ex had decorated the interiors with a bohemian glam style throughout. This included touches like exotic light fixtures, patterned vintage rugs, and more. There were five beds and five baths throughout, as well as common rooms like a formal living 
room with a wood-burning fireplace and a nearby dining room. These public spaces also had inviting archways leading to the other spaces while the upscale kitchen was combined with a double-height great room with wood-planked cathedral ceiling overhead. This dramatic great room also had a carved stone fireplace, a Juliet balcony, and French doors to the yard while the kitchen had marble counters, an Eden Center Island, and top-grade appliances. Other nearby features included a butler's pantry with wine fridge and ice maker, a den media lounge, and an office with ensuite bath on the main floor. Basically, Anne's former home was full of character with its wood-beamed ceilings and eclectic decoration, a theme that continued to be in the sleeping quarters. Guest and family rooms were upstairs and offered high beam ceilings, spacious closets, and personal Juliet balconies. While the large master suite had a beamed and vaulted ceiling along with three closets, including a walk-in and a marble ensuite bath with steam shower and soaking tub. The exterior of Anne's former home had a shaded and arched patio with stone tiles underfoot. There was also a dining terrace with sunken lounge area and massive outdoor stone fireplace. The backyard was petite, but still boasted a 30-foot long swimming pool with an open-air cabana beside it. In the end, Anne and James sold the home for $3.16 million, which was lower than the original asking price, but a lot more than the $1.85 million they paid back in 2009. In 2020, Anne also sold a lakefront getaway property she owned in Lake Arrowhead, California for $1 million. Tucked away in the San Bernardino Mountains and surrounded by lush forests, Anne and her ex had purchased this rustic retreat for $899 thousand dollars in 2013 and it was built in 1956. The floor plan of the cabin spans a modest 1,440 square feet of space along with three bedrooms, two baths, and a few living spaces. The vintage interiors have vaulted ceilings and pine siding as well as views out to the stunning lake. The main living area or great room boasts an original floor-to-ceiling stone fireplace to keep things cozy along with an airy loft just above it which could serve as a guest room or bonus bonus space. The open floor plan also has a kitchen, which is pretty compact but offers all the essentials and has been newly updated with modern appliances and fresh paint. The dining area of the home is next to the galley kitchen, and this space also boasts a pass-through bar. The master bedroom featured sliding glass doors out to a terrace that overlooked the lake as well as an ensuite bath. Anne's former lake property also came with a single-slip boat dock in deep water, but there's also a nearby lakeside patio making a perfect space to enjoy time on the water. There's even a wraparound deck on the house for additional living and outdoor entertaining space. While it's located about 1.5 hours from Los Angeles, a trail right below the property leads to the village, which is the local spot for dining, shopping, and entertainment. Most recently, Anne had sold another property in summer 2021, this time in the Silver Lake area of Los Angeles. When she was with actor Thomas Jane, and right around the time Anne sold the two properties we just looked at, the pair grabbed a stylish story book English Tudor home in the trendy Silver Lake for $1.9 million. Silver Lake is an area that just screams hipster, boasting eccentric blocks with fancy coffee shops, vegan cafes, indie music venues, and much more. There's a reservoir as well that gives the neighborhood its name, which offers a popular walking trail, meadow, and a dog park. Well, it seems Anne and Thomas didn't stay here for long, because after just over a year, they flipped the 2,100 square foot house back on the market for nearly $2 million. This home was built in 1926, but had been renovated with fashionable and modern interiors from the owners before Anne, and included details like pricey herringbone wood floors and an open floor plan, as well as four bedrooms and four bathrooms throughout. Walking up to the home, there's charming and petite front porch, along with a lush and manicured garden. The living room offers stylish black paint windows, while the main attraction in this room is the contemporary concrete fireplace on one wall. The high-end kitchen wasn't large, but it offered stunning light fixtures, a wood center island, and top-of-the-line appliances, not to mention it opened via glass doors out onto an elevated patio. Then, the dining area, which was attached to the space, had an arched and built-in buffet to one side. The main level offered most of the bedrooms and two of the baths, which included the master suite, boasted a large arched window, vaulted and beamed ceilings, and doors out to the deck. On the lower level of the Silver Lake abode, you'd find the fourth bedroom, along with some more bathrooms and a family room or media lounge, 
with built-in ceiling speakers for an at-the-cinema experience. Moving out onto the grounds, the yard had patio space to dine al fresco and entertain along with a pizza oven. What might be the coolest highlight back here was an 18-foot-long meditation pavilion made out of glass. Inside this structure, it had been decorated with a zen and boho design as well as features like draped curtains. While it isn't reported where Anne Heche moved to after parting with all of these stunning properties, at least we were able to get a glimpse of her homes before she passed. All right, everyone, that's gonna bring us to the end of this house tour. We send our condolences to Anne's loved ones after this unexpected tragedy, and feel free to leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and I'll see you all in another one. Bye.